Well, I'd like to welcome everybody to our uh, pep rally for this year's uh, homecoming. Hey, I think we got to give uh, some props to Mr. K. I think our band sounds incredible. Nice job. Yeah. Okay, as you know, this week was uh, it's kind of a big week. Everybody gets excited, gets a chance to uh, dress up. Uh, you know, we had a Hawaiian day, we had twin day, jungle day, uh, favorite Disney character. Um, you know, everybody made a really nice effort of, of going forth and showing school spirit. And, uh, you know, we, we announced daily winners every day at lunch who had the most school pride and had the best costume. And, you know, I appreciate it for that, all of you guys that do that. That shows good school spirit. And, and a special thank you to the parents who get to try to put those costumes together the night before. You know, <laughs> you never know what you have until you look for it. Uh, so, you know, I'm really impressed with our, our student body this year. They've done a really nice job of showing school spirit. They've had a great attitude this year. Um, you know, and it's just a good week. So, uh, you know, we're hoping tonight we play Tears uh, 7 o'clock. And I've got to give a shout out to the, the fans that were at the football game in Falkton um, last week. That might be the most loud, ruckus crowd we've had here. That was awesome. That was Now I know you can do it, as I tell my players, you have to do it. So we expect everybody tonight to show up and uh, give us a, a, a great, great crowd. And we're going to do our very, very best to, uh, to beat the uh, T.S. Mazina Wambi this, uh, this tonight at 7 o'clock. Okay? So the first thing I like to do, just to make it, you know, formal, come on out here, fellas and ladies. That means you got to get up and you got to come out there. Stand right here because I'm sure you don't have your street shoes. Right here. Stand right here. So if you've noticed, uh, uh, our coaching staff, but we have a really good staff, uh, we got awesome kids. But if you remember back about two or three years ago, there was like 12 of us up here. We have 27 boys out in varsity football this year. That's almost every boy in the school. And you know, our, our football program is really is doing good. We're getting, going in the right direction. Currently our junior high is undefeated and doing, doing some good things. You know, uh, I'm extremely proud of these guys. They, they work their butts off. We have our, our team captains this year, uh, Ty, Peyton, Grant, and Kobe. Uh, these guys have been through a lot from not winning a football game to get into the playoffs last year. And their goal is to win out this season, get another shot at Falkton in the first round of the playoffs. And that is our only goal we have right now. Anything less than that, in our opinion, is a failed season. Is that right, gentlemen? Yes, sir. Okay, good to hear. At least some of them think that's the right idea. Okay, uh, you know, I, I think what's the best thing about these guys is they don't step down from a challenge. And really on paper, I'm gonna say it probably, get a letter here from the officiating crew, we should be four and one. There's a couple calls and a couple games that may have cost us some touchdowns. Um, you know, Kyle runs about 155 yards to get 30 yards, but he does an awesome job of getting down there. He's really fast. <laughs> Anybody who's at that game knows exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So I just hope you all come out tonight and support these great young men. Uh, behind every, or I should say in front of every great young man, okay, is a, a very good young lady. And these ladies right here do all the, the, the grunt work and make sure we're ready to go. A couple of them have maybe the two worst jobs on the team, which is the water girls. Uh, these guys are animals. Um, so I, I appreciate you ladies for everything you do for our, our, our boys. And gentlemen, I appreciate every one of you. You're, you're just awesome, awesome dudes. Thank you.
Well, um, we'd like to thank you guys for the support that Falcon game. When you guys are loud and going, we get jacked, and it's a lot of fun to play in that kind of game. And uh, thank you to all the parents who are helping us out behind the scenes and stuff, and let the other senior boys talk a little bit. Oh, well, I would like to first say thank the coaches. Uh, this group of guys could be kind of hard to deal with. You can ask Mr. Nelson. He gets, yeah, we won't talk about it. <laughs> and Coach Smith added on this year. He's a lot of fun to have, a lot of energy. He's just a lot of fun to have. <laughs> been a good week this week <laughs> and uh, hope to see you all out there tonight and get it up you. All right, to get our activities going, and will Coach Waldner please come out here with her cheerleaders. Uh, they're going to get our, our show going here today. Coach McNeil, talk a little bit about the other sports that we have going on this fall, cross country and volleyball. So I'll turn it over to you. Hey, thank you. We have, uh, this year we have 22 girls out for volleyball in grades 6 through 12. So I'll name them. You guys can come down here. Seniors, we've got Trade to Flee Dawson Otto. <laughs> junior, we've got one junior, Elizabeth Salmon. We can't say junior, junior. We got a bunch of sophomores, Candy Enander, Ashley Massett, Katie Ratchin, Dan Peterson, Kelsey Johnson, City Maynard, Maynard, and Kayla Nordell. <laughs> Freshmen, Candy Chasenhawk, Brianna Garrett, Madison Holford, Daniel Noel, Bethany Weeby. <laughs> we got three acres, Devin Nelson, Madison Holfalter, Keith mm -hmm. Stoner. Three seventh graders, Presley Bayer, Kylie Moore, and Rachel Heisinger. <laughs> Our lone sixth grader, Kayla Schrader. <laughs> I have one student manager that's helping me out this year, Christine Micklich. <laughs> and my two assistant coaches, Jessica Flaherty and Alora Johnson. So a few thoughts about the season. Um, after last night, after a tough, hard loss, and we're seven and six, um, we lost to Miller last night. They're number two ranked in class eight. Um, you know, right now, I, I think we can kind of agree that there is some, like I think Coach Nelson said um, before with their football team, same thing goes for the volleyball team. There's some matches that we agree that we should have won. Um, and so it's kind of frustrating at the same time, but the girls continue to work hard. Um, through, through adversity and trying to get better every time we step on the court during practice. Um, you know, one goal they have is obviously we have our 2 one conference tournament coming up here next week and we are the three-time defending champs of that. So our goal is to get back and defend our title. Along with that, play in the round of 16 at the end of the year. And so, um, again, if they keep working hard, they should be able to accomplish that. Looking at our schedule coming up here tomorrow, we have a, a very tough day ahead of us. We go down to the Pentagon and we have three top ranked teams. We got uh, number, um, number four ranked youth in the class B. They're currently 10 to one. We get uh, number, or honorable mention this week in class A, growing area. I think they've lost two matches. And then we also get Western Christian out of Iowa, which are number two ranked in class three in Iowa. So we're gonna have our hands full tomorrow, but I think the girls are ready to to step up, play hard, and see what we can do, and get, give each one a match no matter what happens down there. And then looking on next week, we have our conference matchup against Sunshine Bible, that's at Sunshine. And then obviously we'll have our 281 conference tournament here starting next week, and the parents should be coming out here probably by Monday for sure. So, um, you know, we, we like to invite everybody out to our matches. We'd like to see more people. 
We love the crowd. Our, our boys here the last couple matches, that's been awesome to play with. When you guys cheer and everything else, that gets our, our girls playing better. So keep cheering, boys. Keep uh, encouraging our girls to, to play better. So, um, seniors, do you want to say anything? Um, I'd just like to thank the coaches and all the parents that come out to the game because some of them are kind of far away. So thank you for being there and supporting us. Um, I want to thank my teammates. You guys have been great this year. I've had a lot of fun. And everyone that's come to our games and support us, it's been wonderful. So thank you. Here's Coach McNeil with the cross country. <laughs> All right, this year's team consists of juniors Logan Gilbert and Titus Waldner, sophomores Colin McNeil and Cody Wright, freshmen Zach Gilbert, Jed Waldner, Jack Boomsma, Raymond Cole, Danielle Noel, Eighth graders Mason Bottom, Jessica Godfrey, Kinsey Vanderwerf, and seventh grader Cambry McNeil. Our numbers are growing. This is the largest team I've had the privilege to coach. It's been a fun season so far. I'm really proud of the effort and the energy that they bring every morning to practice. We've got some that practice after school, so. Um, they work hard and they cheer each other on in practice and at the meets. Um, they're really improving, all run, running some of their best times. Um, we started off with some middle school runners and now they're gaining confidence in their training and we don't have any middle school. Or they're all running 4,000 JV or 5,000 varsity, so that's exciting. Um, uh, we're nearing the end of our season. We run in Miller on Monday with a split team again, and next Saturday we will go to Highmore, and then we look forward to working hard before we go to Regions in Webster on the 10th of October. Hopefully we get, uh, we've got a tough region, but we've been working hard, making a lot of progress, and we hopefully will have some Patriots representing us at the state meet in Sioux Falls. So, We've got a few weeks of hard work ahead of us, but we've got some potential there. So uh, it's been fun. I'm excited to see how the season ends. So it's our cross country team. practicing the Wombadies, that's not the easiest name to say when you're cheering. Um, but I'd like to thank you guys for your hard work this year. Um, you want to say anything? Okay, good. No. <laughs> uh, we would just like to thank everyone who comes to football games and cheers with us. It really does help, like, us keep going and smiling and Okay, yeah. <laughs>
Clear the way. Where's Alex? 
morning. Uh, none of this is possible without the help of many. And I need to start with a lot of thank yous here. Ms. Aesop and the Student Council, once again, very nice job again this year at Homecoming. Very good. Okay, all the teachers, the staff, they got to kind of wrangle these animals up this week. Very good job of keeping them going. As well as all the parents who have uh, put the effort forth to support their kids in our school. Always promoting a positive attitude. Uh, on the side note, I'd like to thank all my coaches. Uh, they did a great job uh, doing that. Parents of the football players who have provided us with some phenomenal meals every Thursday night. We can't tell you how much we appreciate that. I also need to thank somebody who's who became a part of our, our football program, whether they wanted to or not, it would be Wayne Binger, because he has allowed us to use his trailer, because with 27 boys, it's a lot of stuff we got to haul. And there ain't nothing wrong rolling into town with two, a bus and a trailer. So thank you, Wayne, if you're here for, all, for that. We appreciate that. <laughs> Mr. Clark, we'll have some closing announcements, and we'll get ready for our parade. Thank you, Mr. Nelson. Ah, congratulations on a great week this week, and congratulations to the cheerleaders for putting this together. Um, thank you so much, and also, great job, band. Thank you for all the efforts you're putting in. Uh, it sounded really good. For those of you that don't know, our band basically consists of all 7th, 8th, and ninth graders this year. <coughs> trying to build it from the ground up. Mr. Kreckelberg, uh, awesome job getting ready for this. Our, our goal for band is in the next year or two to be competing with Warner at some of the competitions. So uh, something to shoot for. Also, congratulations to our King and Queen, uh, Grant Hamilton and Dawson Otto. Congratulations. today, maybe next year. Uh, and we had a great participation from all students this year. It's, it's fun to see every student from preschool all the way up to seniors participating in our, our homecoming events and it's fun for the kids and we also know if it's anything like my household trying to put these outfits together it gets to be exhausting so we're glad the week's over. Um, but a couple last minute things here. The parade's going to start here in a few minutes. We're going to get things lined up. We're going to start with the color guard, followed by our Patriot pep band. And then we will do the elementary classes, organizations, businesses, and then the class floats, the seventh graders through seniors at the end. Um, so if, you're, if you have a float, that's kind of the order we'll go in. Tonight, there's a couple activities going on. Um, the second annual chili cook-off is tonight down at the football field in Hitchcock. Come down, try some really good chili tonight from five to seven. And then seven o'clock is the homecoming football game. And for you eighth graders through seniors, your favorite part of homecoming, the dance tonight, right? At least if you're an eighth grader, it's the one time you get to go and, and be part of something, right? So. <laughs> So that's tonight in Hitchcock after the football game. And uh, just a reminder too, tomorrow there's a couple things going on. Patriot Volleyball is down in Sioux Falls and the Junior High Volleyball is at James Valley. So thanks for coming. Um, we'll get the parade started as soon as we can.